I'm here at Sweetbriar College. As you just, if you're not familiar with the Lynchburg area, you just come straight down 29 through Madison Heights, and then uh, just before you get to the bypass, uh, you'll see a sign, Sweetbriar College, on your, on your left. Now, supposedly, there are hiking trails around here. <laughs> Because I don't, I've never been here before, although I did get offered a job to teach here once upon a time. And boy, I tell you, looking at the campus, I'm, I should have taken that job. This would be a wonderful place to to hang out. It's, uh, there's, but there's, a, there's supposed to be a lot of hiking. I figure what I'm going to do is try not to scare the students. And I'm just going to hike around the campus here until I find some hiking trails. Because I didn't know what else to do. But let me just show you what it looks like here. So this is the parking lot that I parked in, you know, so I just wanted to get as far away from, from everybody as I could. I uh, did meet a, meet a nice gentleman at the, uh, at the front gate. He asked me about geotagging. I'm not sure what geotagging is. I guess people go out on hiking trails and leave a little something something for people to find. And sounded interesting. I think he said geotagging.com or .org or something like that. I'll have to look it up when I get home. But anyway, when I get on a get on a trail, I'll let you know. Um, right now, I'm just hiking around the campus, and this is kind of what the campus looks like. Let me just show you that. Oh, there you go. So this is kind of where I'm doing. So I'm going to be hiking around here, trying to find a trail. Peace out. So I thought I'd show you the trail map real quick. Sweetbriar is set on 3,250 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountain foothills, creating a landscape for learning. Sorry, the wind's blowing here to just a little bit, but this is this is what I'm walking around. So we'll see if we can find find a trail. All right. Damn it! I was trying to get him on the video. That's a big black bird right there. Anyway, he was just above me. Sorry, I didn't get him. Got a squirrel up here. At least we can get that. Let's just start hiking. See what we find. So I met I met someone back there, and they told me to come up here. I thought that was coming up to that yield sign right there, but this is Boathouse Road. So we're gonna go down here, and boy, you can see there's lots and lots of parking around here. If you're into hiking, unless if we ever find the hiking trails, looks like look at this, got some landscaping going on. Good time of the year for that. And look at the campus here. I tell you, this is uh, this is the what I this is my shtick, man. I love coming out and just going on an adventure, and uh, you don't even no clue what to expect. Never been to Sweetbriar College, even though I was offered a job here many years ago as a professor. Should have taken it. In hindsight, I was too stupid back then to realize how much. They, look at that architecture. Look at that building right there. This Sweetbriar College is 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 awesome. Look at look at the building over here. Holy moly, and then that's, uh, let's read about this, a sweet briar house. This Italian villa was the home of college founder Indiana Fletcher Williams from sometime in the 1840s until her death in 1900. And I'll let you read the rest of that. Uh, I'll just hold the camera here for just one second. You can pause there. And there's their there's picture right there. And uh, wow, imagine living in that house. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, you know, if you're gonna be a, a professor, you know, might as well uh, live in a Victorian house there or whatever that is. All right, let's keep going, see if we can find a trail. No, I thought I'd just get a little more of the campus. I mean, if I had a kid and I was in Lynchburg, Virginia, and they needed to go to college, I'm telling you, I this is where I would want to go. As much as I love Liberty University. I think I like Sweetbriar even more. I mean, look at the natural beauty of this place. With the, look at the size of that building right there. I guess that's probably classrooms or something. I don't know. This place is fantastic. Now look down here. We got some water. You know, so that gets. And now, oh yeah, we're heading down to a lake now. Supposedly around this lake. That's why I took the boathouse road. Is where the uh, trails might be. Let's see if we can find them. Boy, it's a cold, windy day. I didn't dress appropriately. It's gonna be a cold hike, but this is pretty cool. This is uh, Thayer Field. I'm just continuing down Boathouse Road. Uh, September 26, 2009. Woo, but I feel that wind. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's biting right through. Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait to get back to Florida. All right, here we go. 
Boy, I apologize for the wind noise. Nothing I can do. But look at this old street lamp here. It reminds me of that song, The Sound of Silence, you know? And uh, look over here. I don't know what this is. Looks like a little horse rink, maybe? I don't know. I'm just continuing down. Now, here's the lake off to my left. Boy, this is beautiful. I mean, we're not on a trail, but, uh, you know, I'm enjoying uh, the adventure here, just kind of hiking along on the campus. I, 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 the only thing I could think of is that would be for horses, I suppose. Huh. Imagine being a student here, man. You could go out on this lake. I bet, uh, you know, I, I don't see a beach, but I bet uh, I bet there's some good, good fishing in there. All right, apologize for the wind noise. Nothing I can do about it. I haven't, still haven't gotten a dead cat. I think I might be coming up on a trail here, hopefully. There's supposed to be some around this lake is what I've been told. So I could continue on Boathouse Road and just go on down there. But I figure, what the heck, let's just hike around this lake. And there's, uh, there's something across the way there. Let's just go find out if it's it. I'm, I can't tell if that might be a trail ahead of me. I mean, they're not marked as trails per se, but at least it's nice to hike next to a body of water here. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. See if we see that might be a trail right across there. We'll see. Well, I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm allowed to be here or not. Sweetbriar Plantation burial ground. I don't see no uh, graves. And you got this going that way, and we got this going this way. I'm going to go this way. It's, it looks like a, kind of a dirt road. Who knows? I mean, I, I, would, I hope, uh, hope I don't get arrested here because <laughs> I'm violating uh, the burial ground. But let's keep going. So I just wanted to get, get you a look and feel. It's more or less just a, a dirt road at this point, uh, but quite beautiful. Yeah, at least we're back here in the forest now. So I, I look, a nice bench to sit on. That's nice. Uh, let's see what's on this sign right here. Maybe I am on a trail. It says, uh, Wetland Way. Yeah, so I guess this must be a trail. Look, and there's one going off in that direction. Okay, let's just keep on the, uh, the Wetland Trail here. Oh, look at that mountain back there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I tell you, that's a... It's just like Liberty Mountain, you could probably hike around here at Sweetbriar College for quite some time and not get all of these trails in. But let's keep going. So the trail came out to kind of a gravel road. Looks like it kind of dead ends at that wood pile down there. And we got these stakes in the ground. Well, you know, I always try to get the weird stuff on the video. I hiked over into the middle of this field. You can see it's just a big old field here. Uh, and I just wanted to look at this. Now, if, you, uh, if you're watching this video, what is a Biomet system? I have no idea, but it's, uh, it's weird looking to me. Well, it looks like there's a camera right there. Huh, maybe I'm on a uh, candy camera. So, and what's that stake right there for? Anyway, let's, uh, I'm just gonna go on down this uh, gravel road. I don't know if I'll find another trail and then we'll backtrack to the, the right fork on that trail back there, Wetland Way, and uh, maybe go that way. But you can kind of see, and look, we'll, we'll get another clip when I get up there. I'm real curious about what all that stuff is. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be out here, <laughs> but what's a shed doing out here in the middle of nowhere with a fire extinguisher? And I don't even know what that is. Let's walk over here and see what this thing is kind of weird looking just a little uh I, who knows and of course the lamp's on what the heck is this it's just a post and then you got that right there anyway we're just uh we just came down this road and now i'm heading on in uh, this direction and there's some weird looking stuff up here we'll get it on the video when i get there now I'm, I'm real curious, <laughs> this is an electric fence and there's the lake over here and what are these colorful, maybe beehives maybe? I don't know. What in the world would this be? Boy I wish I had somebody giving me a tour here to let me, <laughs> give, give me the story behind all this stuff. But look over here, oh man, Pol apologize for the wind, it's a windy day. I don't know if this would be like maybe grapes, maybe they grow grapes here. But look at this. I mean, what the heck is this? And it goes, look how far it goes. 
goes hey up there well, we're just going to keep continue up this gravel road there's a building of some sort over there who knows and uh i mean i'm obviously off the grid here i, I, don't, <laughs> I haven't really found a trail per se but, but I, what in the world is that well it looks like trees i guess maybe those are uh like apple trees or something yeah I, who knows i tell you what they got them well protected i wouldn't try to get through that fence right there all right let's keep on going so i'm leaving the tree farm if you, that's what I'll call it, a tree farm, I guess. And look at the architect, I mean, look at the landscaping right here. And it looks like a caboose. We'll go over there and get, get a picture of that. And uh, and then we're coming up on this thing right here. I don't know what it is. And then it looks like a field down there. Let's just keep kind of walking around. In fact, we'll, we'll loop back down Boathouse Road, unless I see a trail. And we'll take the uh, right fork and see if that's actually a trail. All right, let's keep going. But, that is cool looking, that caboose, whatever that's for. All right, mystery solved. This is the Merlot track number one, Sweetbriar Vineyard. So, but look down here. I wonder what's going on down here. They got some cars out in the field. That's why I said this would be an awesome place to go to school. I mean, you know, just take your car out in the field and uh, I don't know what they're doing, but you know, you want to throw Frisbee or maybe play flag football or whatever and of course you got a ball field over here i'm gonna i'm gonna go down this road for a ways and see what what i see so this is something you don't see uh, at colleges very often there's a bird up in the air there but it says sweet briar farm i guess maybe they teach, uh, teach agriculture here man i tell you that's what i because that was a complaint that i had in another video i was talking about we need universities teaching people how to grow their own food I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of three cars come down this road. Look at all that equipment. Boy, I'd, if they taught the students how to, to operate that equipment. And then, oh, well, I can't see it now. There's those people down in the field doing something. But anyway, I'm just uh, continuing on this gravel road and see if I see anything that looks like a trail going off the road. But uh, man, look at all this land. Boy, you could grow a lot of hay here. Uh, and obviously they did. Look at all that hay in the barn. So, huh, let's just keep going. Boy, I tell you, Sweetbriar would be a sweet place to go to school. Anyway, I'm just continuing on the gravel road and here's a, a look back at the college. You know, there's a the barn there. I just was curious what all these people are doing down there and they're not playing flag football or anything and who knows. But anyway, I'm gonna continue on this gravel road till, till it comes dead's end. I'm, I'm looking off to the right for maybe a trail going into the woods but uh nothing so far but this is yeah, i'm enjoying it i mean this is nice you know just come out to the college and hike around I, you know i'm seeing a lot of weird stuff here hello vineyard who what college has a vineyard <laughs> yeah. so i don't know if this is a trail or not the road's continuing on that way i'm going to attempt this at least it's going back into the woods so let's see what we got i mean it kind of looks like a trail Let's see what we get. Man, it's, it's like being on an adventure <laughs> here at Sweetbriar College. So anyway, I told you it kind of looked like a trail, but look down here. I don't know what that, maybe those are fire pits with the picnic table in the middle of the woods. Kind of bizarre, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I think this is coming to an end and looks like there's a barbed wire fence, but uh, I'm gonna go down here and look at these things. But I, I guess it's, as students, they could come back here in the woods have a nice fire and uh and hang out that'd be pretty cool yeah it's it's a chimney all right and then you got your picnic table right here huh so you could and then there's another one over there but then i noticed this i mean look at here maybe i wonder if that thing works you know i mean that could be well water right there in the middle of the woods that's just the bizarre stuff I'm finding here at Sweetbriar College. So you see that structure way off in the distance over there? I wonder what that is, but look at this. What are these things? And look at the, look at this road. I mean, I, I'm just on a gravel road. I wish I was, could find a trail, but what in the world are these things, I wonder? Maybe benches to sit on, I suppose? I don't know. 
But what in the world is that gazebo doing in the middle of a farm field, you know? And, and there's more of these things out here. Huh. Well, let's head on up under the forest. At least uh, you can see that wind blowing. And luckily, I've, I've warmed up because I've been hiking, so it's a good thing I didn't overdress. So I just came up that road, and there's a ribbon around the tree for some strange reason. And down below, there's another road. So I'm going to take that when I get to the fork in the road. But look at the air up on the hill. What in the world are these things? I mean, is that a water tank, maybe? Or a silo of some sort? But look at the door on that thing. Can you see it? Right there at the bottom. Maybe there's a grain silos. Wow. Boy, as a kid, you could... Because <laughs> I would definitely climb that ladder to see what's, what's up there. Because we used to do that out on the, uh, on the farm. And uh, we climb up the silo. And uh, boy, I could tell you some stories. Well, I'll well, tell you a quick story. Uh, one of my buddies, uh, we would race down the side of the silo, but it was, you know, on a cold day, sometimes it's, those rungs of the silo would be icy. And uh, this guy, he fell. He fell about 30 feet, hit the roof of the barn, and then fell another <laughs> 30 feet to the ground, you know. And uh, it ripped a gash in his, in his arm. But what was weird is it wasn't bleeding. It was just this big open wound. And, uh, and then, of course, I, I took it. I was always the driver back then. We took him to the hospital. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, I can't wait to hike this road. Boy, that road looks in good shape, too. So who knows where that goes? Boy, this is a, this is a great place to just come and hike around. I mean, boy, the kids just, they got, they got it made here at Sweetbriar College. I mean, this is awesome. I love it. So I took the left fork in the road back there to get up above these tanks and then look what I find. Let's see what this is all about. This is called Monument Hill, the founding heritage at Sweetbriar College. This hill overlooking the Sweetbriar College campus is home to the Fletcher Williams Family Cemetery. Every year on Founders Day, the community college walks together to the top of Monument Hill. Oh, that's pretty cool. Indiana Fletcher Williams, 1828 to 1900, and James Henry Williams, 1831 to 1889, were the parents of Maria Georgiana Daisy Williams, 1867 to 1884. Daisy died at the age of 16 from an inherited medical condition. Her devastated parents planned to establish a school in her honor and memory. When Indiana died in 1900, she bequeathed her plantation to become a school for women. Indiana will also provide, provides that the college must keep her family cemetery in good repair forever. I'll let you read the rest. Look at that, dedication to Daisy on the family monument. Let's get around in here. And uh, I don't want to desecrate the cemetery or anything, but I, I do want to, well, there is some writing on the monuments, uh, let's let's go on in here. This is uh, this was unexpected. I I didn't know I was going to go to Monument Hill and Sweetbriar College. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful to be on an adventure?